How's it going? It is Phantom, and I am here today with my lovely co-host. Boobie and Harley Quinn, aka Jordea Grosco. And today we're going to be discussing the Flash season finale. It appeared last night, and this may or may not be one of our longest reviews, because I kind of want to review the series in, as a whole in general as well. So, um, basically, um, first, let's get our opinions out. What were your thoughts of the season finale? It was... It was absolutely amazing. The acting by the guy that's playing Zoom is really corny near the ending of it, and I laughed kind of a lot. <laughs> I will admit, I will admit, it was really corny toward the end, and but there are some. I don't know. I just felt like this finale. It was very different from the last one, but it still had kind of a clap. Like I felt. I don't know. I just felt like with the ending of it. Did, I don't know if they set up for a season 2 or did they set up for like, I don't know, some major crossover event. Which we already know may happen because they just got Supergirl on the CW. You there? Yeah. And, um, yeah, so, basically we get into the episode and, you know, Barry wants to wait, want to race. Um, Zoom. What are you, like, what, what are your thoughts in general? Like, we're just gonna be going through the episode anyway. Well, um, yeah, I do apologize that I've been gone for so long. Parents kind of bring me to things, and I can't exactly object to that. I can't exactly object to that. Um, but, um, I thought the last previous episodes were really good. I did actually watch them, even though I didn't do any videos. And then this episode was really amazing. Uh, I, uh, I'm really looking forward to next season, considering what happened at the very end of this episode was very surprising. Yeah. I did not expect it to go that way. No, I was like, uh, and I kind of just sat and looked at my phone for a few minutes, because uh, it's what I was watching it on, and I was just like, what did, what did I just, I don't think that's supposed to happen, guys. And it's like, the thing is, like, I feel like, oh man, you just fucked up on another level. Yeah, I, I feel like when his previous self kind of disappeared, the one that was originally supposed to tell him not to do that, yeah. looked at him, and he, he smiled at first, and then he kind of gave, like, lost his smile, like, oh, crap. I'm like, you, you I, what, you, I don't, I don't know what to do. <laughs> kind of like, he just, he, you know what, he just started a Flashpoint Paradox. And that's, like, kind yeah. of a strange that we're bringing that up. But we kind of got to rewind to the beginning of the episode where basically they killed his dad like in the same exact fashion he killed his yeah. mother. In. But it's kind of I don't know like it's fucked up. But like I see like they're trying see what they're trying to do. Yeah, like, like emotions were real. Because it's like you see like you already locked your mother. Then he made you lose your father in the same exact format like copy and paste to the same exact format of how to kill them. And he yeah. was going to do the same thing to um, Joe when they had um, basically imprisoned him. But honestly, I thought that was a stupid move in general. Yeah, I thought that was really dumb. But that, but he did, but Zoom made a lot of really stupid decisions in this episode anyway, because he just wanted to race. Come on, guys. I'm just competitive. I want to do the races. <laughs> so I want to be the very best that no one ever was. My speed. I've got to catch them all. <laughs> all those speedsters. That's basically what was what was going on in his head. And at the same time, like we, one thing that pretty much kind of scared everyone, and it kind of scared me because I'm like wondering how, like, what else was he c capable of? Was when he they said he could open breach it into more, like, into multiple multiverses. Like, and the thing is, like, knowing that he yeah. can be in one, more than one place at the same time, how do we not know he's he hasn't already tried it already? How do we not know, like, this is yeah. probably his third attempt doing it. And, um, yeah, we get more into the episode, and, like, you can kind of see the, like, look on Iris' face when she sees that he's, like, in a prison, he's just looking at down at himself. But yeah, that, that face of self-anguish. I didn't think I used that word right. Did I use that word right? I think you used that word right. Good job, big words. Yay. This, Ooh, review, big boy, this review is sponsored by big words. You know how to say Ooh. them. 
big but, words automatically make us more professional. Yeah, it truly does. That. Us, us talking, <laughs> especially with us talking about it during the review, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but um, overall, we honestly, I I like that we kind of get a little bit of a backstory of like how, like we already knew how we got the Speed Force, he was going to be executed, then the Dark Matter Particle, etc., it blew up and all that. But I do like how we talked about the Guardians of the Speed Force, kind of like, they're like fucking Grim Reapers. I was, I was, I was thinking the Black Flash every time. The first time I saw him, I'm like, Black Flash, and then it's like, no, and it's like, oh, that's disappointing. But like, essentially the same thing. Yeah. The one thing I do like is that, um, a lot of people really don't like, um, Wally West's character, in the show at least. And then, like, when we see him, like, in this, like, we kind of learn to enjoy him a little more because he did free Barry from prison. Well, I wouldn't call it prison, but being in prison. He is... Wally West is literally my favorite Flash of all times when it comes to comic books and television. I mean, and uh, the anime, all of an the animated stuff. Yeah. So, when they added him to this, I was super excited, and then he didn't quite sum up to what I wanted him to be, probably because I had a really high expectation in the first place, because he is my favorite. So... Maybe that's why, because everybody kind of liked Wally, so everyone kind of already had yeah, a really high had. expectation. Was I the only one that still expecting Jesse Quick, and I never got it? I know! I was waiting for Jesse Quick, and I was like, okay, or maybe are we gonna get a little bit of Jesse Quick in a different world? But with that ending, I don't even know if we're gonna get anything. <laughs> I, yeah, well, I don't know. I may, we may see a Wally West, but... I mean, we may see a Wally West flash, but... That only it's only a theory, a comic book theory, but um, yeah, it's only a theory. Oh, we, we keep talking about the ending. Should we, for anyone who hasn't seen it, should we like tell them? Oh yeah, what before we actually get more into this, spoiler alert! Please click off the video. You only got the beginning of the um episode, so stay while you're still here. I mean, stay if you want to be spoiled. Leave if you're still here and you don't want to know about it. And, oh yeah, that's, that's our spoiler warning. I'm probably going to put spoiler in the um, review anyway because, you know, it was a very important episode. And, of course, it was important it was. for a lot of it. And, let's get more into it. I guess what I could say was, I, you could tell Barry learned new powers as he was slowly kind of, you know, he was learning new powers as he was slowly getting into it. Yeah. Because, when... <laughs> I believe there's not much else to say towards the middle of it, besides, like, basically, some of the stuff that was going on with Barry, like, him being increasingly angry, and we've seen that in, like, every fucking episode, like, that's my one, that's the one thing for all I have to say when we get into, like, our full TV show roundups, which I'm trying, which will probably be out when, when available, when everyone's available, or at least everyone that watches the TV show, the one thing I don't like about The Flash is, they do this rinse and repeat thing where, Barry, something happens to Barry. Barry gets over emotional and angry. Barry's friends start to calm him down. Barry's friends somehow magically calm him down. Barry stops the enemy. Woohoo. Like, I'm tired of that I kind mean, of every format. Every time, yeah, yeah. And it's been going on for about two seasons now. First, it was Barry trying to always bring his mother, his mother into it. Which I'm not saying if your mother's passed away, you like, ignore that. I mean, of course, it's a pivotal moment, but, dude, you gotta get over it. Yeah. Like you stopped the guy who killed your mom already in your time. Like, I picture you got your revenge. It's and never enough. Never enough. It's never enough. <laughs> That's basically what's going on. Because it's the same rinse and repeat formula so far with the series. I mean, the series. And I'm not saying I hate the Flash. I love the fucking Flash. As a, the comic book hero, the fucking animated version, in the series. But not when he's doing the same exact thing of copying and pasting how he feels. And it's kind of a little bit of a rant, but that's one thing I have to say. Like, that's why you really can't get much into the series when you see it. Yeah. With that, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie and say that some series don't do this. Um, Supergirl did it at a lot of times. I yeah, I kind of, like, went off and on with Supergirl for a while because of it. Yeah. 
And the thing is, is that now, like, we're seeing more of these characters, like, we're gonna see them possibly cross over. Please, kind of change the format, um, with this, the, um, CW, because... Yeah, we used to have a bunch of Arrow and Flash crossovers all the time, and now it's like, oh, where'd you go, guys? But you can't leave right now? Oh, oh okay. I think the last episode was actually an Arrow and Flash crossover for, for last season. And it was like them basically closing the breach. Well, actually opening the breach. And basically, yeah, let, let's get on to the, basically the big fight and the big finale. Um, so Barry, get, Barry and um, Zoom actually race. And the whole team comes with them. The whole squad. Yeah. The whole squad. And it was pretty badass. And, and Barry uh, did the weird... Uh, I will make another person of myself and then die thing. Basically made a genetic clone of himself, pulled him out and said, can you help me out, then watches it as it dies. Yeah, do you, do you want someone to do an explaining video on how that works? I mean, we already got an Infinity Gem explaining video up on a new channel if you guys are watching. Why not? <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll see if I can work that out. Yeah. Because I can work anything out, so I can, I can, I can work that out. <laughs> so, if you guys need a clearer explanation, can you give us a brief explanation of what goes on? Um, basically, he goes back, okay, the, uh, um, he goes back in time, and, like, kind of, okay, weird, um, uh, okay, you know how, like, sometimes they used to, like, bend light and they would, like, go so fast and they would create another person of themselves? Yeah. Basically, they're doing that again, but they're putting their own conscience into it. Ah, so it's basically like a speed, like a speed dummy. Yeah, they just have to go back in time to do it because that's the only way they could do it that's fast enough. Ah. Yeah, so, um... and then he died. But that doesn't matter because other one is still alive. Okay. It's like, it, I was about to say, so basically he created an alternate universe. Yes, oh, and so. the reason why I kind of sound like I have a cold is because I don't, I probably might have a cold. <laughs> okay, we don't matter. But, um, yeah, and basically actually in the, they defeat them and... To be honest, like, they were able to take down a generator, but then Zoom was like, well, you can't be in. Here comes the speed. Like, I don't know what to really call them. Do you know what to call the speed for? It's basically police. Yeah. And I don't, I don't. Like, I don't remember their full names. But what I know is that basically, if you fuck up, they come after you. They don't like you breaking the rules of the speed force. Yep. And they got him. They got him. Yeah, and he turned into, like, this weird bull, like, like, skeleton meaty thing, and it was gross and awesome. It was, like, disgusting as hell. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. It was, like, awesome. that's... I, I've done a makeup kind of like that before. And it's, like, the face you just see him looking at. Like, it just... What the... What, what, what was that? <laughs> that's all I have to say I, on that. I don't know, but it looked like a corpse, and it was gorgeous. And eventually they just take him away. Now we get in there, everyone. We find out who the man in the iron mask fully is, and all I have to say is fucking caught it. Fucking caught it. I called it. I called it too. Everybody. Totally. Everybody. Fucking nope. Caught. Nobody believed us, but we were right. Everybody fucking caught it. Although I was not expecting him to have that face. Of like. I thought him like to be like some young dude that would be like the young version of Henry Allen, but nope. But I was yep. like, and all I was saying in my head was like, they got the fucking '90s Flash. They got the '90s Flash. Yeah. And the, and the suit too, the suit that he had on at the end with the one, the smaller one that's like long, with the with the really awful blue pants. Uh, they they got they got Jay Garrick down fully. Yeah, I love it. Helmet, and it's just oh. like, oh my god. It was beautiful. Oh That's all I have to say. It was fucking beautiful. It was like having. My current I don't have a shirt on. <laughs> you guys didn't need to know that, but now you do. And the bad thing is, I don't know how to edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> oh well. You guys, you guys, it's not like you know where I live, so. <laughs> and I'm in my bedroom. All y'all can leave me alone. <laughs> Nobody's yeah. home. 
the overall, this review was... I mean, not review, this episode... Yo, yeah, this review is kind of crazy, but... This episode was probably the best episode of the Flash... Well, I wouldn't go to best, because my personal favorite is the season finale from last season. In my opinion, it was way better handled than this one. So let's get on to that ending that we've been touching upon all day. So... Yeah. You want to talk about it first or me? I do want, I do want to talk about it first. Then go. Go. Grab the, the, Barry went back in time and he went and saved his mama. And it was very emotionful. That's not a word. That's what it was. And it was, and his other self was like, bro, don't do that. And, but he smiled anyway. And then the, um, he burned thawed, the guy that was, pretending to be Harry in the first season was really confused. Like, he looked very confused when he just came and got beat the crap out of him. He's like, where the f*** did he come from? Yeah, I know. He's, I mean, I looked at it and he just, the actor looked, like, spot on acting there with all that, even with the CGI, he looked really confused. He's like, can someone explain to me why there's two flashes in the same f***ing universe? Okay. Uh, three because he was fighting one and then he was fighting the one that was just in our episode and there was the one behind the door so basically there's nothing but different flashes yeah everyone's everyone's just confused and there's so many pizzas. yeah and it does get confusing I'll admit and yeah that's where the episode actually ends yeah it, well 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 there was the part where um the other one disappeared. Oh wait, the right, the part right before it when um, they um, Iris and Barry kiss each other, and there's the really corny light thing with the street post. He's like, but there's one. I can't do this for you. I'm basically yeah. gonna be useless if I stay here. Yeah, slow motion. <laughs> I was like, oh. And we're we're doing a review on the last class episode. I also have headphones on, so it's really so I talk really loud. Well. <laughs> I'm gonna have to find a way to edit that yeah, out. Yeah, I'm yeah, telling a group of mom. <laughs> yeah, to... sorry, that was my mom. It's alright. I have a mother. Apparently I'm being really loud. But, yeah, overall I have to give this episode a 9 out of 10. What is your score? I would also give it a 9 out of 10. And, yeah, we'll probably be back next September, hopefully? I will be back next September, and I will probably miss multiple reviews as well, because truth and stuff. And my internet will probably go out again like it did last time, and yep. I probably will, will be going on a long hiatus like it usually does. Dude, dude, we're getting fiber eventually. We're going to be getting fiber soon. It's coming to our town. Uh, okay. I will have better internet. And, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video, and I'll try to edit out the thing with her mother. Yes. <laughs> Peace out, guys. I need to cut it off.